All right, so you have your seed starters. Now, what do you fill them with? So we've got a lot of different options you can get commercially, like normal bag of potting mix, or you can get one of these from Dollar General. Um, they come with different fertilizers or other things to help your plants grow. And they also have the right structure to help them get to the right start. So those potting mixes are gonna look something like this. We're gonna have little pieces of bark, maybe little pieces of white foam, it's called perlite in here, and it's gonna have a nice thin structure that's gonna help your seedlings be able to pop through the soil. Um, but if you don't have some of those options, there are other things that you can do by getting soil at home. For most of you, your yard looks like this. So we're gonna talk about how to get soil from your yard. Now, first things first, ask for permission before digging. Ask for permission, okay? But when you get permission to dig, it's as easy as finding a very inconspicuous spot, not the center of your yard, and taking a small shovel or hand trowel like this one and digging down. The key is to not get, or to dig down deep enough that you're not just getting grass. So I'm gonna start by making a small little circle in here. And this soil is very tough. And go. All right, so I have my circle made and now I'm just gonna pull up all of this to see what we're working with down here. Now, we have some really sticky, tough stuff down at the bottom. This is clay that a lot of you might find in your own backyards. But then toward the top, up where all the roots are, there's some soil that's more crumbly. This is the stuff that you're gonna want to start your seeds. So if we look at the difference between the two, this all crumbly is gonna let your seeds pop up through the top of the soil. This, they're just gonna get stuck underneath of it. So always shoot for this sort of look when you're picking your soil from your yard. So this is getting it from the grass. But some of you may have other areas where you can get your soil from. Also key, put your grass back. It will make your family very happy. Just put it back right there. Go on, give it a nice little jump around on it, get you some exercise, and it'll grow back. Okay, so some of you may have garden areas already created. So this is an area that I was working with, um, but you can see here the soil is really hard. This is again one of those clay soils that we found underneath the grass there. And this is not good for starting seeds in. So I've added some things, some compost to help make it a little bit better. But for now, we're gonna talk about this. So this is soil that we've already added compost to and it is a lot more crumbly. So this was that, this is again, that stuff that you're looking for. If you have a garden space already started, but you're trying to start your seeds inside with your outdoor soil, look for that. All right, so if your soil is like mine and is as hard as a rock, um, it's probably not good to use that soil for starting your seeds. So if you have a wooded area or a place where there's a lot of tree cover, look there first. So if you look down in here when the leaves decompose and they uh, go into the soil, it creates a lot of awesome organic matter, which helps make this soil super fine textured. So this here, this crumbly goodness, is a perfect thing to start your seeds with. Well folks, to finish up our first set of tutorial videos, you now have seeds that you have separated and you know what is there. You know how many cells that you need to fill with soil to start your seeds. You know how to find a container if you don't already have one. And you know where to find your soil and how to use it. So stay prepared for on Tuesday, April 28th, your next tutorial video for when we are going to explain to you how you start your seeds. Have a great Granville day.